of cancellation. Now let's hop over Tokyo for the moment and focus on Beijing. Some of the fastest skiers in the world are here competing for their chance at the 2022 Paralympic Games. Several of the athletes are at a qualifying event in Park City, but as new specialist Mike Anderson explains, the sport is about much more than just competition. In some ways, it's what you'd expect, some fast-paced competition. With a blistering time of 59.60. But it's also what all of these guys never expected, at least not at first. I got into Paralympic sport through a physical therapist. It was just after I had broken my back in a four-wheeler accident. Multiple gold medalist Andrew Kirkra at one time had other plans, kind of like his fellow U.S. Alpine ski teammate, Ravi Drugan. I was hit by a train when I was about 14 years old. None of them asked for what got them here. And about three years after that, my mom and dad got me involved in adaptive skiing. But they didn't let life's unexpected turns stop them either. My physical therapist took me skiing and she was like, hey, you gotta try this. And I was like, you know what, skiing's for pansies. I'm never gonna do that. In this sport, they all found something similar. And then now, hey, look at me. <laughs> I ski a lot and uh, I really love it. Not only the love of the sport, but the spirit of determination. You know, we're able to adapt and we're able to compete no matter what. And Kirka says it's about helping others who have been through those similar life changes find a way to do the same. Some like Rob Enigle, who's hoping for a future spot on that U.S. team. I did horrible. <laughs> I, I crashed. I, I just got a new mono ski, so um, a couple days ago, so I'm really still playing with the fitment and the straps and the shock setting. But that's okay. He's learning from others like Kirka, getting a chance to try again tomorrow. And they say that's common. They're always helping each other out. Beyond the competition, they all have a common goal. If more people can see what they're doing, hopefully that determination leaves an impression. There's no bad blood and there's no bad vibes because we're all friends and we're all here. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.